Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about compound inequalities. I'm going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 7v is less than 5, which is, uh, sorry, minus 5, not less than, is greater than or equal to 65, or negative 3v minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay? Again, with a separated, we need to solve each inequality individually. So I'm going to add a 5 to both sides here, giving me 7v is greater than or equal to 70. Then I'm going to divide by 7 to both sides, giving me v by myself is greater than or equal to 10. The ors keep coming down, or, or. So this one here, I'm going to solve it again. I'm going to add a 2 to both sides, leaving me negative 3v is greater than or equal to a 0. Okay, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Then I'm going to divide by negative 3. And since I'm dividing by a negative over inequality, the inequality flips. So we're left with v here is less than or equal to 0 divided by negative 3, which is 0. Okay? Important, important right there, right? Greater than or equal to turns into a less than or equal to, because we're divided by a negative. But now I have my two inequalities, so I can graph it. So let's make a little number line here. Let's go 0, 5, 10, 15, and negative 5. Okay? Well, they told us that v is greater than or equal to 10. So I have a closed circle at 10. Closed circle at 10. And v is greater than that, so I put my arrow to the right. The other one here says v is less than or equal to 0. So again, at 0, I have a closed circle. <clears throat> and I put my arrow to the left, showing that v is less than 0. And now we have it. We have our graph here that matches our compound inequality, which is v is greater than or equal to 10, or v is less than or equal to 0. So let's recap. We were given 7v minus 5 is greater than or equal to 65, or negative 3v minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. I had to solve each, one, each inequality individually. I added a 5 to both sides here, then I divided by 7 to both sides, leaving me with v is greater than or equal to 10. And on the right here, I added a 2 to both sides, then I divided by negative 3 to both sides. The key part here, when I divided by negative 3, I need to flow over the inequality, I need to flip that inequality. So I have v is greater than or equal to 10, or v is less than or equal to 0. Those are my two parts. v is isolated from both of them. So I graph both individually. v is greater than or equal to 10, closed circle of 10, arrow goes to the right, okay? Because we said v is greater than 10. And then this one here, v is less than or equal to 0, so I have a closed circle as, uh, closed circle at 0 because, uh, because it's equal to 0. And then I have an arrow to the left because v was less than 0. So now my graph here matches my final answer, which is v is greater than or equal to 10, or v is less than or equal to 0.